Hey, it's a French student here, and today we're going to be talking about UML sequence diagrams. So, in the last episode we talked about some of the basic elements, and this is going to be like the next part. And I'm going to be talking about two different examples. I will first have like a pretty simple, but actually quite, I think it's a quite good example of a login behavior from a user. And then I have a bit more, it's not complicated, but it could seem a bit weird at first. But discussing about these different uh, groupings we can use regarding like um, sequence diagrams. But first, let's just talk about this uh, login example. So, as with many behavioral diagrams, we can have actor showing the specific uh, behavior of someone using the software, or the application. In this case, we have a login situation where the user would first like click on the login button. So this is like the action. We would then go to the login screen and we would then validate the user and we'd have these bars which kind of show like the login screen what it's doing so you could technically just look at it like login and successful login so this is just a successful login in this example but you log in click the login button then the login screen tries to validate the user then the validate user asks for some kind of like user id and password or it's given the user id and password and then validates it the database and in this case the user is validated then the validate user this was probably like objects or in this case the database would send back to the login screen a user validated is successful successfully and then it would log in so just to kind of some kind of like method call on to itself and in this case we just return the information to the user that they successfully log in so this is just very simply showing the steps going from left to right and going with the arrows and then going like downwards and just showing the uses of the behaviors of the user. Then I also have an example of groupings, which allow us to kind of like create these boxes which show some groups of some kind of behavior. So this is actually quite an interesting example I found on the Plant UML website, which showcase Alice, Bob, and some kind of like a lock system. So Alice sent a request about authentication and is accepted or failure either can happen but then in this case also alice sends some kind of like lock attack which is just simply kind of like a hack attack we just send a lot of information to like override or yeah destroy but distract the server on this case the lock so we would have like the boss like the alt some kind of failure then we just have my own label. The, label, the names are not like specific, specified at all, it's just to showcase the different labels. But then for example, we can use the labels to create a loop, where in this example we just show loop a thousand times, and we're just doing this attack, just sending a lot of information, just sending all these uh, requests to the server, and at some point the lock attack ended, and then you could repeat. So, but we're just having these six boxes showing some kind of part of the system. And what's very worthy to take note of is, like, for example, with the loop, we're able to demonstrate that we're looping a hundred, a thousand times something. But this is the basics again of the sequence diagrams. It's often, as mentioned, used to show behavior, and they are, can be very simple, but can also get very, very complicated when you start adding a lot of arrows and at some point then they might seem too messy but with these simple examples they're pretty good to show some kind of behavior especially I like the login screen I think it's a pretty good example but that all I have now if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day